Sup dudes and dudettes, this is Froggy2k9 and today I'm bringing you a Modern Warfare 3. This is the first game on Xbox 360 I got that was better than average or you know, it, it, well, it's not better than average, it's uh, it's better than my warm-up games. I had a few warm-up games before this as I did just get home so I've been playing on a tiny little screen before this. But anyway, now it's here. Brilliant good to go. Okay, so as you might have noticed, I didn't upload for about three or four days. Or two or three days, something like that. And this is because I was trying to upload a Nazi Zombie video, but it failed twice. It failed twice and I restarted it at a two-day upload and I realized why it failed. It was because my wireless connection had failed. <laughs> So, what I've done now is I've I've plugged in a my laptop. I've plugged it directly into the modem. Sorry, I shouldn't really breathe on the mic. Apologize for that. As I said, I plugged my laptop directly into the modem via a wire downstairs, and the laptop's out the way and it's uploading. So hopefully, there won't be any more failures, as uh, it's it's there. It's just there. It's out of the way, and I hope it doesn't fail. I'm gonna check it every now and again. If if it does fail, I'll try and upload it again as quick as possible. Get that. Uh, um 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 um. I hate it when I say that. Sorry. As I was saying, hopefully that's uh, that silver light thing that Google have. It's the uh, the the. I don't know really what it is. It's sort of like a background program that allows you to catch, download, or upload, sorry. So that you don't lose them forever, so that you can re-upload them. If you re-upload them nice and quickly, then you should be able to catch the upload, and it will start uploading from where it left off. So that's Silverlight, and I suggest you get Silverlight if you're liable, or able, sorry, if you're able to upload a more than 15 minute video. I suggest you get Silverlight. It's a very, very good thing. Silverlight's brilliant. It it caught the Nazi zombie video the first time, but the second time it lost it because it'd been I don't know whether it'd been down too long or what. I d I don't know. It it just it failed and it failed for about I'd say twelve hours. It failed for before I had realized so I'm gonna check it a little bit more often this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna go downstairs like every hour or so, and just check to make sure the upload's running. It does take like a day and six hours to upload this two-hour zombie gameplay. So I'm uploading it all at once because I just I want to do things, some testing things out, and some friends don't believe that I can upload as long a video as I want. They already know I can put ads on my videos, but I don't. I only I do actually I put them on my tutorial videos only. But that's because I put I put quite a bit of work into those videos, even though it doesn't seem it sometimes. I do put a lot of work into those videos. I'm trying to teach other people what I know. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to get across what you know, especially when you're not used to teaching or anything like that. I'm just trying to get across with video footage of my words, basically, and that's, that's about it. So, about this gameplay, right? Uh, I'm using the SCAR, and I love the SCAR. <laughs> I've, like, on the PS3... Before I left, I had unlocked the one one from last camo for the scar. I had used it so much; it was it's insane. Uh, I'm so close to unlocking it on gold for um, for the PS3, so I'll be using it a lot on the Xbox. And I've actually got another gameplay already for you guys. It's a 30 and something and five, so you got that to look forward to. It was a really fun game. And I found a nice spot, a really nice spot to get your kills from. Now on this map, this building right here is the place to be. Even though it's in the middle of the map, you'd be surprised how linear this this specific area is. Especially when teams normally spawn on one side or the other. There is no side to side spawning on this in this building right here. If you go across into the middle, you're totally safe, or almost totally safe, because generally your players will be either one side or the other. They won't be both sides, if you get what I mean. So I suggest if you want to get some kills, if you like to stay alive, 
try and get in this building, but keep an eye on your backside. Make sure your friends are behind you rather than your enemies, because if your enemies are behind you, then you got a problem. And that's where I get uh, quite a bit of deaths. Like right now, I have the enemy spawn behind me. If you looked, I was looking towards the green. This mean is the, as you can see here, this means that the enemy are spawning behind me because I'm looking at the green. But I'm actually looking to get to this guy here. And you'll hear in a minute a noise. Now I thought someone was teleporting in as if they was Star Trek or something like that. I thought someone was teleporting in. It was weird as hell. It was sort of like... I was like, whoa, did Scotty beam me up or what? And then I just blew up, so... From now on, I know that that's a bouncing Betty. If I hear Scotty trying to beam me up, I've got to hit the deck, because that's the only way to survive... Or it's not the only way, but the best way to survive a bouncing Betty, it works 99% of the time, is just lie down. Not a lot of people do this, because not a lot of people know. If you hear a noise that sounds as if Scotty is beaming you up, lie the hell down. Just lie down, and you're almost guaranteed to survive it. There's, there's some cases where you don't survive it. I haven't survived it in some cases. As you can see, I'm, I'm sticking to the center building, as you can see here. And I'm trying to keep my... I'm try, I, I try and keep my friend's spawns behind me. But when I don't, as you can see, as you can see, my spawns are back there, so I know it's safe to move the other side of the sofa. A lot of the times, I'll forget my own my own basic knowledge. I'll just I'll just end up rushing out. I'll forget I forget to assess a situation, and this is where you see me die when I when I don't assess a situation. Like right there, I knew that guy was there. So the best thing for me to do was go around the corner, aim down sight. So I did. Thought there was someone coming down the hallway, but no. And you're going to see a nade in a little while. I'm not sure if it's here. I know there's a nade in this. That It's a quite nice nade. If you look where I throw it, suggest you take a look at that area every time you're over there. Get a nade in a similar spot to where I do, and you'll get it straight through the window. And it lands almost directly in the middle of the room, across across the road. But you'll see that in a minute. I'll, sp I'll spot that out. Well, it's not hard to see. Very easy to see, actually. And this sofa right here, this that sofa in front of me, that is a really, really nice place to shoot across, to shoot across the road, across to the window from. Now, this Predator missile looks like a complete fail, <laughs> and it is. But I was aiming to hit the two or three guys that were over there, forgetting that I'd just seen them killed, forgetting the fact that they had just been slaughtered and the kill feed filled up with just one guy so it was obviously he killed them all should have noticed that beforehand but I didn't so I missed out on Predator Missile Kill now right here look where I throw it see that that was just like it was just under the window above something like that it was just under if you if you go up like two floors throw it roughly roughly the floor above it if you, sh if you throw it right there, you, sh you should get it in the window from where I was. Now, that guy actually was coming for a revenge kill. I'd killed him earlier, and I think I'd pissed him off shooting him through the window, so he'd come round with his beastly FMG9 Akimbos. Yeah, he's a monster. Now, I try and pick that SR-71 thing up. I, I don't know what it's called. Something like a special UAV or super UAV, something like that. But I tried to pick it up, and I kind of failed in trying to pick it up. It, just, it sort of cancelled itself out, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna call in my shit, and then I'll and I'll try and pick it up again. And the second time, it it got it. So I don't know if it prevents you from picking up a new kill streak or different kill streak until you have used the one before, because it had stopped me from using it. I don't know why it stopped me from picking it up. I had continued to held X. I was in the same position. I hadn't moved. So, uh, for all intents and purposes, I should have picked that up, but I didn't for some reason. I don't know why. Now, I still don't fully know this map, so this is just me exploring where to go, how to get back up there, where have I gone, how do I move across the map. And this guy gets killed. Now, the stealth bomber screws me over here. I would have spot I s actually spotted that guy out, and by the time I had actually pulled my analog stick slightly towards him, I was already dead because I just couldn't barely move. So, again, Scar H is an amazing weapon. I suggest you put kick on it. 
rather than two attachments because I see a lot of people using two attachments put kick on it and stick something like a silencer on it or extended mags and you'll notice you'll be a beast to be honest with you, you will it's an amazing weapon really easy to use so this was really fun gameplay and next gameplay coming soon hopefully the Nazi zombies will be up by the end of the weekend it's been Frogger 2K9 please rate comment and subscribe happy days